Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Arrow Season 4 Episode 15 review taken. Yes, we got our live action Vixen, uh, played by the same voice actress who played Vixen, or did the voice for Vixen, in the CWC animated uh, six episode short miniseries that aired in late August of last year, titled Vixen. Um, and it was basically, it, w it was this new character, Vixen, that was being introduced into this, the CW Arrowverse. And uh, it, we got animated versions of Flash, Arrow, Cisco, Felicity, uh, even Black Canary a little bit. Not really Black Canary, just a, uh, not, not, not really Black Canary, but uh, kind of. And uh, they had concept art and stuff for her. And uh, the episode, the, the, the series, it was basically one 30-minute animated episode split into six parts. Uh, but it's definitely worth watching. It's a full origin story for the character, and uh, it, it kind of sets you up for what's to come. So you've got Vixen, who is actually, you know, asked to come and help by Oliver because his son William has been taken by Damien Dark. So let's get into a top five moments from this brand new episode, starting right now with number five. Damien Dark has Oliver's son, William. So we knew this uh, Malcolm Merlin enlightened Damien Dark last week uh, about this. Um, or two weeks ago, actually, now. It's two weeks ago. And uh, at the end of last week's episode, Damien Dark had taken William in kind of like a professional fashion. It didn't, it didn't even really seem like a kidnapping to William. Um, but William was with Damien Dark and everything. So... Uh, Damien Dark has him, and he lets Oliver Queen know about this, and he says, Oliver, I'm only going to give you back your son if you drop out of the race, and, uh, support, and give all your support, uh, to Ruve Adams, who's actually Damien Dark's wife, who's Oliver's competitor. So, yeah, you can see how that goes over. Green Arrow's not too happy, neither is Oliver, and it, it's just a whole big deal. Moving on to number four. Oliver drops out. Of the mayoral race, and uh, he is no longer going to be running for mayor. Look, I think the big thing here was that nobody ever saw Oliver Queen becoming mayor of Star City. Although, you know that that's been one of the big things, uh, big you know arcs for the Oliver Queen side of the Green Arrow this year. You know, it, this is it's kind of what happened to Oliver in the comics. Oliver ended, did run for mayor in uh, one. It was a set. Uh, a, a, it was a series, a Green Arrow series in the comics, probably from the '80s or '90s, and uh, it it was all about him running for mayor or whatever. But he never actually ended up winning. So you could see that they were never truly planned. Doesn't seem like they were truly planning uh, to have Oliver. Uh, become, you know, the mayor of Star City or anything like that. But he drops out to, you know, secure, you know, uh, to, to secure William. And he very much cares about William. It's, it's actually, I'd say it's a pretty big deal. Um, and, uh, you know, because this is some kid that he doesn't know too well, but it's his son, uh, Samantha, uh, the, the, you know, the, the woman that, you know, Oliver had William with. She's very worried. She comes to Star City. Um, and it's just a whole big thing. Now, Samantha is in the Arrow Cave, and she's seeing Laurel. She says hi to Laurel. She reveals to Laurel that, you know, she ended up having this kid or, you know, getting pregnant. Uh, you know, Oliver got her pregnant while Oliver was still dating Laurel and Sarah. I mean, you know, Laurel's still affected by this, too, and she tells that to her dad. And, you know, it's just a whole big thing. And, you know, you really see that Oliver really has turned his life around because he was kind of a dick, you know, not so long ago, so, um, you know, I don't think he's ever meant to be, but he, he I don't think he ever meant to be a dick, but still, um, so you, you see how it all goes there, um, but, uh, you know, Oliver drops out, and Damien Dark agrees to give him his son back. Moving on to number three, Vixen is enlisted, so, after Oliver briefs the whole team that, hey, Damien Dark took my kid, and tells everyone, hey, I got, I got this kid, and he tells Felicity, hey, I got this kid, and Felicity kind of gets pissed, and every, everybody's like, what the hell, you know, all this, you know, blah, 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 I mean, it was a bit subtle, but, you know, whatever, it was fine. Uh, Oliver says, you know, we're going to need magic to take down Damien Dark, you know, I've got, uh, I, I, I've got this friend in Detroit, uh, Mari McCabe, uh, Mari McCabe, I call her McCabe, I guess McCabe, uh, who's Vixen, 
And he's like, I'm going to call her up. So she comes in. Or we actually, we, we see Detroit. And we see Oliver Queen actually go to Detroit as the Green Arrow. And the, the special effects for Vixen were unforgettable, insane, amazing, so great. I loved seeing these, the, these effects for her. Um, I, I think this is some of the best special effects. If you know, These might be the only special effects f that we've seen on Arrow, uh, aside from you know, when, we, when we see uh, the Flash and stuff appear, but th these were just really awesome. So Mario McCabe comes in, she's pretty cool. Uh, and she's got a bit of a different suit. Her hair's a little bit longer, but of course, it's it's had they have to do it that way. And uh, she has she has the ability to because she has she can channel all her uh, you know her animal spirits inside. She can sense uh, William, and she's able to track William and kind of find where he is. They also come to the conclusion that Damien Dark gets his magic power from um, you know a like a, a statue or whatever. It's very similar to how. Mario McCabe gets her powers, her the powers of her vixen and the animal powers from the uh, Nanzi totem that's on her neck. So we realize we, we we see that magic. I mean, it's very real, but it, it's not like somebody's born with magic. Like you know, somebody like Raven from the Teen Titans, she has magic, right? Zantana, magic. You know, the Constantine, magic. But people like, you know, Vixen, and now we know Damien Dark, they don't actually have magic. They just have a magical item. Uh, and, you know, with the gorilla spirit and gorilla power, she completely smashes the, the statue. Vixen smashes the statue of Damien Dark's on the ground, and Damien Dark loses his power. Oliver's able to get William back, um, and, you know, this kind of really sets the bar low for Damien Dark because now he's got to figure out a way to either enact his plan now or run. And I think, I don't know what's going to truly happen, but I'm very excited to see. Moving on to number two, Oliver leaves a message for William. So with the help of Mari, with John from Speedy, from all of them truly, everyone is kind of telling Oliver, it might be best to keep your life separate from Williams now. You see what's going to happen. It might not even be best to see him. So really what the, what the big deal is, you know, William, you know, he has a newfound appreciation for Green Arrow. Um, but the, the thing is, his dad's a superhero, right? It's not going to work out. So he tell, he he leaves this video recording message telling uh, William, you know, pretty much everything, wh who he, who his dad is, why this is happening. Uh, he said, you know, don't, uh, your mom." I told your mom not to show this to you until after your 18th birthday. And he said, I also told your mom to take you far away to a, a new a city where, where I don't know. And, uh, you know, to, you know, just keep you away or whatever. So I never see you, you know, because I, it's just going to become dangerous for you. Uh, and it's almost kind of like leaving a legacy thing for, uh, for, for uh, William one day. But, you know, if you've seen this week's episode of Legends of Tomorrow, you'll know that it doesn't seem like William becomes another Green Arrow character. That's somebody else, which we'll talk more about that in my Legends of Tomorrow review. But, uh, you know, he, he's kind of almost saying goodbye. And if people were wondering, hey, is William the one in the grave? Well, no, he's not, because we've seen that he's, he's not. He's going, he's taken far away. They're kind of closing off this big story arc that has been brought upon since season two. It was kind of started in season two. So, uh, you know, maybe go back and rewatch that episode. Rewatch the episode from last season where, you know, the crossover episode, Flash versus Arrow, and all of that. And you'll, you'll kind of see how this all played out. But a pretty solid ending and a very emotional ending. And moving on to number one. Uh, Licity might be, you know destroyed so felicity she in this episode she is she's gotten this the chip planted in her back or whatever and she's kind of in physical therapy trying to you know work work and, and walking again she's having trouble doing it but she wheels in at the very end of the episode and she hears everything that oliver has said in that video recording or most of the stuff and she pretty much just puts the wedding ring on the table and says, you know, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work out. I, I, I know, I, I knew, I, I heard from Samantha, you know, the whole thing that she, she, she said and the fact that she wouldn't let you tell me. But it's still the secrets are not working for me, all of that. 
and uh, Felicity kind of just stands up and walks away. And you're like, wait, what the hell? I, you know, it was a very, the only thing I disliked a lot about this episode is that it was just too, too quick to have, you know, Felicity just takes off the rain. She's like, I'm sorry, it's not working out, blah, 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 gives this emotional speech. They play this emotional music and you, you see her, her legs start to move and then her and Oliver both get excited and she stands up and then she kind of just walks. Like you'd think maybe she'd be limping, maybe she'd fall, maybe she... She would need to, you know, lean on some couches or, or you know, walls to kind of get to the door. But no, she pretty much just walks out of there. I mean, it, it's kind of a nitpick, but at the same time, it's like, this is a big arc for her. And to kind of just end it, you know, in a very short 10 second period is kind of odd. But this was a crazy episode. It, it definitely made you realize that there's more to the show than just you know, Damien Dark and magic, but there's also this big element of family. And, uh, you know, it, we, we know that Oliver and Felicity will get together at some points uh, because they have pictures from a, their wedding. Uh, and that wedding could also be from, like, a, a hallucination, a dream sequence, but I don't think it is, and I think that they will get back together. I just don't know if it's going to be for the next few episodes, but we'll see what happens. So let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the episode. And, uh, you know, just were you excited with Vixen, Damien Dark? Uh, you know, where do you think the story is going from here? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm a rider, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.